What's going on guys, Robbie here, and today we're taking a look at Creo Transformers Battle Changer Autobot Hound. There's a lot to say for such a small figure, uh, but basically what we're talking about here is it's uh, it's based on the Creon body, but they've added ball joints and extra things to it to kind of make it larger, and it transforms. It has two different ve uh, forms, it's got the vehicle mode and the robot mode, uh, but it's just a very simple basic transformation. And uh, it's probably not a whole lot going on. But, uh, you know, it looks like it might be fun. So hopefully it won't be, you know, kind of trash quality like the last couple of Creo sets I've put together have been. And you can see some of the other guys. They have Starscream, Shockwave, and Bumblebee. I did see Shockwave. Uh, I did not pick him up on my latest trip. Um, but I, I may if you guys really enjoy these videos uh you can see i got them at marshall's for 7.99 for this uh, which is the same price i paid for the optimus and megatron 2 pack so 7.99 is basically what you're going to pay if you find these guys in your local marshall's ross tj maxx things like that um, otherwise you may end up paying more but i don't know where else they would carry these guys so your mileage may vary uh according to your area i can only speak to basically the eastern United States so if you live anywhere other than that um, you might have to do a little uh, digging to find these guys but you can see uh, here's the vehicle mode and of course the robot mode here uh, all the different ball joints and things like that so I'm interested to see these guys I know they've had a, f a few other uh, battle changers around I have not yet picked any up uh, so I'm kind of curious to see how it looks and works <laughs> or if it looks and works so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will see you guys in just a moment Okie dokie guys, here is Battle Changers Autobot Hound, I guess, <laughs> or just Hound, uh, it would be a lot easier. So this is the vehicle mode, as you can see, it's, uh, it's very, very basic, really, really simple, and, and you know, pretty rough, to be honest, it's, I mean, just, just as as simple as it gets, you can see it's got a spare tire back here, it's not actually a spare tire, it's just a flat you know, round plate, but, uh, and here's little feet that you can kind of move. I mean, you can gonna just leave them up if you wanted to, but they look fine. They're fine just where they are. Uh, you've got a clip here. You can, you know, attach the gun or this guy or whatever you want to it. Uh, I just kind of put this in it in a little way that I thought looked pretty good. Um, but yeah, and you know, I have to admit, even the transformation is more involved than I originally thought. Like, it's it's actually not that bad. It does roll, which is nice. Um, and all the joints and everything feel nice and tight and solid. So I am very pleased about that. So to transform this guy, you just pop the, uh, pop the gun off here. I guess you could leave this one on, but we'll just pop it off for now, uh, which is fine. So to transform, you can see underneath there is basically the majority of his robot mode. Uh, we'll get into that in just a moment. So transformation is very simple. We're just going to take this uh, the front end here and flip it back like that. We're going to grab um, the, uh, the front wheels and we're just going to rotate them back like so and then rotate them down and continue putting them back until they're fa you know, still facing out but they are obviously tucked around the back here, just like so. so. There you go, like that. Then we're going to take the arms and just kind of slide them off of these little pegs here. And kind of get those out to the side and, you know, curl the elbows in, just kind of get things out of the way. And now we have just the legs left. So we're going to flip these out, which are going to become the feet, okay? Uh, we're going to stretch the legs out. And this is the, the part that kind of annoys me a little bit. We're going to push up here a little. Uh, we're going to kind of use the flexibility of the plastic. And push up and then twist the, the, the hip around, which is going to push the head up. And that's, that's kind of annoying. Like, you know, if, you, if you're going to make them rotate at the hips, you should make sure that there's enough clearance there, uh, but you know it's not the end of the world. And then we're gonna just go ahead and split the legs here. There, there is a peg that keeps those together. And there you have Hound, Autobot Hound, whatever you want to call him, Hound. 
And uh, you can take weapons and put them in his hands. Like so. Or you can actually take this one, stick it in his hand if you want. Or you can stick it up here. The instructions have you put it up here in his shoulder. Which also works uh, just fine. So you have that going on. So let's give you guys a close up of his head and chest. So you can see the, the printing. It's actually quite nice on here. Uh, you can see this design on the... Uh, on the bumper it is supposed to carry across to uh, this little piece here but the stickers that they give you are not silver they're white uh, so it's a white sticker with this line pattern on it so it looks very very weird uh, it's just a big blob of white like that so I just left that sticker off I did put the others on and they work just fine uh, little Autobot symbols and stars and things like that so uh, those worked out just fine uh, let's put this back on here and of course articulation is not bad uh, you've got ball joints at the shoulders here uh, you've got ball joints at the elbows you've got little clip hands so he can still hold accessories the same as he did before uh, the hips are of course the ball joints and the knees as well and he's got little flippy feet so yeah I w I'm actually rather surprised it's a it's a solid little build the uh, instruction booklet is ridiculous. The instruction booklet is so large uh, and folded up like a map. Uh, so that part can be rather cumbersome when you're putting this thing together. It's just a tiny little thing, but it's got like 30-something steps or 40 steps. Uh, so it can be a little, little t tiresome, but overall, it's actually a fun little build. It's kind of a shame that these didn't come out earlier. Uh, in the life of the Creo line, and maybe, you know, maybe Creo would not be in the state that it's in now. Uh, but I actually, I actually kind of like this guy. Uh, it's very simple, it's very basic, but it's, it's enjoyable and it's cute and fun. And it actually works a lot better than I had originally thought. So, uh, definitely, definitely a thumbs up for this guy for me. It's, like I said, it's very, very simple. Um, but especially at, you know, $7.99 or whatever, I feel, I feel pretty good about this as a building set. So, yeah, yeah, that, uh, that's it. But that is Autobot Hound or Hound or whatever you feel most comfortable calling him. It really doesn't matter. He's just a toy. <laughs> but that is also going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching. As always, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more. I do have more Creo coming up, so keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.